here. The light! Gotta exit. The Outlanders of the mysterious East wear suits of metal armor and speak in strange language that I didn't catch. Woo! That was pretty close. Um, hello? A lowly acolyte walks away. You should have died beside your master preventing the escape of whoever did this. Unless you had a role in it. Destroy them to be sure. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I want the creepy mask watcher guy. He would just stand still. Oh, ow. Don't just stand there. Come on. Oh, pity. Now you guys are just cake. Right. Who's next? I have come such a long way in combat, going from being ridiculously horrible to... I might even increase the difficulty up another notch. I don't know, I might. I feel like I'm really getting the hang of this. We need to get back to the other so we can deal with what we know now. Careful out here. There's no telling what the collapsing fortress has stirred up. Good call. Alright, let's see... Let's see if we can make our way out here. Oh, spirits, 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 spirits. Ow. Gotcha. Oh, come on, stop teleporting around. In your face! Awesome, Sky. Oh, whoops. Didn't want to do that. Did we make it? Are we out? Can we leave now? Nature of the Spirit, Volume 4. It is said in the journals of the lost monks of the Jin Si sect that there are spirits of every desire. By summoning that desire within themselves, men can commune with the spirit, summoning it to them. I can't imagine what kind of spirit must have been summoned in the dank of that mine. Darkness on all sides, only the slight flickering of that lamp. A great unknowable fear welled up within me. Those ancient monks knew too much, I think. They communed with their own dark desires too often. In that place, I too faced my fears. The circumstance and research that led me to that point scarcely prepared me for what I faced. The dweller in the depth spoke to me. Ah, still haven't finished that book set, I guess. Yep, wait. More spirits. More spirits. Take that. Money. Very nice. Stone You I don't really need any focus, but okay. Iron I'm too much for you. Whammo! All right. Where exactly are we? We are in the un. Oh, we just came from the unfinished tomb. Gotcha. 
Are there any plot items that I got that I didn't see? Oh, it's configuration of the rabbit, configuration of the tiger. And scale of the viper. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, um... Let's keep going. We gotta get back to the others. I think that's the next thing in our journal. Return to the flyer. Okay. Um... I think I'm going in the right direction? No, that's the Lotus Satsu. I wanna go, yeah, exit to the city. I figured... Noise! Stop your blocking! You're only slowing down the inevitable. Thank you, Sky. Yummy! Not really sure what these gravestones are supposed to do, if anything, but eh. Oh good, I think I found the exit. I think. Yep, yep, yep. There's groundskeeper willies. Mummy's doing all the way out here. This makes no thematic sense at all. Stone Headbutt! Alright. Why did it sound like... When I kill the mummies, why does it sound like I just destroyed a bunch of wooden boards? I, I don't get it. Alright. A regrettable adventure. We should return to the flyer so everyone can discuss what we have learned. Oh, Zoo. Poor Zoo. I didn't expect him to go that quickly. Sagacious Zoo returned to save you. I didn't think he had the nerve. Well, I thought he did. That's because people are nothing but tools to you. Wow, Onstar. My dear little Donstar, I'm a princess. People bow to me. That is the way things are. Oh, of course, boy. many things are not as I thought they were if what we learn from Gia is true. Um... That's it? We just forget what Zoo did and move on? I do not mean to diminish his sacrifice, but the concerns of the living take precedence. Too much is at stake. This is why I'm not dating you. When this is over, I swear that he shall have a grand funeral. Death's hand will be in the grave next to him. And my father... My father will answer all our questions. Besides the fact you have boobies and... I'm just not into boobies. Not at all. You have heard his lies for years. Will this change anything? I know what you found and what the implications of it are. The Emperor himself ordered the golems constructed and the workers were stolen from their homes. Yes. By the water dragon's mercy, they are enslaved until they die and then trapped within the golems. I have seen the proof. But how can it be true? Oh. He has taken our master, killed our friends. What if assaulting the water dragon is true too? He must be stopped. No! I will not believe it! We have to go to the palace and give him the chance to explain! I guess we can try... <sighs> My concern at the palace is Master Lee. Stand beside me or don't. I am going to question my father and straighten this out. It's all just a mistake. Delusional princess is delusional. Um, there is more. Zol t Zoo told me about Master Lee's murdered family. The child is alive. Layers upon layers, as if this wasn't complicated enough. Now you are really stepping beyond the realm of reason. Why would Zoo know this? Is the child Death's hand? 
I'm just calling it right now. I'm trying to think, who could this child possibly be? And I'm like, could it be that the child is Death's Hand? I... we'll see. Um... He was part of the group sent to kill them. He had a change of heart. Only partially, it would seem, or they would both be alive. Does this change anything? We can tell Master Lee and give him hope, but we must rescue him first. Then let's quit talking and go to the palace. I will lead the way. Oh, that's right. We have we to go. We must be on our guard. Is there another way to reach the palace? The princess doesn't want to see the danger. She says she can get my marvelous dragonfly there in one piece. I've had no other options, and I won't risk the finish flying blind. Everyone be quiet! Are you ready to go? If you have business left in the Imperial City, you'd better finish it. I won't be leaving the palace without an answer. I don't really want to leave the... Not yet. I still have things to do. Um, I need to speak with Sky. You delay us just to chat with your dashing rogue? Be quick about it. I'll quiet you, Kitana. I want answers, and there's only one place left to get them. Now I'm kind of glad I was nasty to her. She's really getting on my nerves. The princess is. Hi, Sky. You said you wanted to talk to me, Sky. Do you want to talk privately? Do you want to talk, like, here, we'll talk private. There isn't really a private place for us to chat, is there? Sky, come here! We need a we need we need to talk, you and I, before we do anything else. Always happy to help. What do you need? I need you, you handsome, handsome hunk of a man, you. Um what did you want to talk about before we left for the palace? Sagacious Zoo sacrificed himself so that you could continue. That reminded me how dangerous our task truly is. Zoo is a good man. I hope he has finally found some peace. I hope so too. He certainly earned a reprieve, if only from hating himself so much. I don't think you would have survived Death's Hand. Even if you had, would you be in any shape to face his master, the Emperor? Your master obviously trained you well, but you've come a long way even since we met. Um... <laughs> Stay with me, and you'll see that I am capable of much more. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. I know. Despite the temptations before you, your skills are guided by a sense of honor that would humble sagacious to you. Oh, Sky, that's not what I meant. You, 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 you need to... Sky, really... You need to be able to read between the lines a little better. You need to... I guess... Whatever. Let's keep I going. know this seems a strange thing to ask now of all times, but do you ever wonder what you'll do after we rescue your master? I can think of a few things. I have my own ideas, but I'd be interested in hearing yours. Oh, you want to hear mine first? Um. You first. What do you think will happen? I'd rather hear what you have to say, unless you're going to insist. No, no, I guess I'll. You asked me first, so I'll say I have some idea. What about your master? What do you think will happen with him? Um, I want to help him replace his brother as, as Emperor, despite OnStar's hopes I think it will be too late to save him. Um, do I really want Master Lee to replace his brother as Emperor? I mean, I guess I kind of do. But I also think that he would want to rebuild his peaceful life in two rivers. Um. Yeah, I, I mean, if the Emperor is as horrible as we think he is, I guess I will try to convince Master Lee of replacing him as Emperor. I want to help him replace his brother as Emperor. That may prove difficult, but I can think of no one more up to the task. What about you? Where do you see yourself? Now that I have a little bit more of an idea. Find some peace in my own school, learn more of my people, the spirit monks. I won't rest until I've destroyed everyone responsible for what's happened. Think I will take some time for myself, perhaps some roguish company. Ooh. 
I won't know until after this is finished. I think I'll take some time for myself. Perhaps with some roguish company. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, highlighted with like gigantic neon flashing signs pointing towards my not so subtle subtlety. Some sort of holiday? A break from the drudgery of fighting the Empire? <laughs> You'd get bored. I think I'd find some ways to keep things exciting. Sky. Allow me a prediction, if you will. Sure. I do not think we will all survive. Not against these odds. But those of us who do will find a way to return to our normal lives. <laughs> normal lives. When you think about it, that leaves only the question of us, doesn't it? That's the tricky one. I don't think it's that tricky. Uh, we're smart. We'll figure it out, don't you think? Yes, I do. Good. Good boy. We've talked long enough. As it stands, I'm gonna have to listen to Whirlwind's lewd innuendos for the next two days at least. Given what we're facing, I don't know if we should go further with this until you rescue your master. The last thing you need is a distraction. Oh, but I kinda like having you as a distraction, Sky. Um, what if I want a little distracting? Trust me, you're not the only one, but you can't <laughs> afford distractions right now. <laughs> Alright, leave it to Sky to keep me focused. There will be time later. <laughs> Very nice. Very cool. I'm really enjoying Sky's, um, Sky's romance. It's, it's very, very fun. I don't want to talk to you yet, Katana. OnStar, I will talk to you. Hurry to the palace. I hate it that Master Lee is trapped there. Who knows what the Emperor is doing with him? My father will explain. Death's hand is behind this. You will see. Yeah, we'll see. I want to ask questions about the Imperial City. I've only been here as long as you have. Uh, let's go back to my other questions. What do you think about what's been happening? So much has happened. So much death. Sagacious Sue's sacrifice weighs on my mind. Yeah, I know. Um... Don't feel bad for him. He found his lost courage. If we succeed, he will rest in peace. Now I understand why he was so troubled. It wasn't cowardice that led to his exile from the Lo Assassins. It was conscience. I believe that. He must have wanted to oppose them, even if he didn't realize it at first. But that would have meant his superiors were wrong. A far graver thing than just being evil. What must it be like to be so devoted that it was easier to imagine a deficiency in himself than to confront the truth of the Emperor's evil? Um, in better times, he would have been a great servant of the Empire. His loss is a crime. We have to make sure this can never happen again. I know we will. We have to. Hurry to the palace. I can't bear to think of Master Li remaining in the hands of this Emperor a moment longer. Yeah, I hear you. All right, see you on Star. Don't go too far. I'd get lost in this city. I know it. Hey, don't bat your eyelashes at me, young lady. Don't bat. Don't you dare. Hey, Wildflower, how's it going? What do you want? I just wanted to check up on you. What do you think of our current situation? I don't like what we have to do. Aren't the Lotus Assassins evil? Why should we try to imitate them? Uh, well, I think I'm kind of done with that now, kid. To find the heart of evil, you must look within your own. A noble heart can resist any temptations. Do not stray from this path. I know that I won't, and that being around Lotus Assassins won't corrupt me, as long as I have the Guardian. And you. Aw, you're so sweet, little kid. Is there anything else you want? No, nothing right now. Okay. Hey, Mick. What? What do you want? I'd like to hear more about your past. It's the player doesn't really, but I'm sure the character kind of does. I'm a fighter, not a damn. All right, never mind. Uh, what are your thoughts on our situation? I always figured if I saw the Emperor, it would be for my own execution. Of course, the day's still young. <laughs> yes, 
Yes. I just hope I get to meet the man who taught you how to fight. I've never seen someone so small fight so well. First, we have to free him. It's not just about size, sir. Let's get to the palace and give the Emperor a taste of real power. We'll have your master free in no time. Just wanted to get that out of the... You know, just wanted to get that out there. Whatever. Whatever. Alright. Henpecked Ho! One of my favorites. Yes? How can this humble bun master assist you today? Um, what are your thoughts on our situation? I can't believe we're actually going to see the Emperor himself. This is a most propitious day. If my wife were here, she'd... Actually, I'd rather not think about that. Propitious. Good word. I am, however, looking forward to meeting your master. I'd like to know if he's familiar with my drunken master style. But I suppose we should get ready to go. Yeah. Just give me the word and I'll get the camp packed up and ready to go. Ho is like our mom. I I love his character. He's fantastic. Ho, you're 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 like our Alfred kind of kind of in a unrefined an unrefined version of Alfred from, you know, the Batman series. Uh tell me more about yourself, Ho. Story, story, story. All right. Fine. We're not going to talk about it. Thanks, that's all for now. As you say, I will be here scrubbing your pots until you call upon me again. Thanks, Mom. <sighs> all right, Katana. Are you ready yet? No. The more I think about the information you found, the more I need answers straight from my father. I need to take care of some business in the city. Hurry up. I need answers, and there's only one place left to get them. Don't tell me to hurry up. Sheesh. Sheesh. Okay, one last thing. I need to check out configuration of the rabbit, I think. Um, the, 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 connection between a small stone with medical runes. A small stone with medical runes. Do I have that? Um, I, well, I guess I'll check and see. Um, configuration of the horse, configuration of the tiger, um, iron is made stronger, I guess I'll try the, do I have a piece of iron? Yeah, a bar of, bar of nickeled iron. Alright, come on Kang. Yes, yes, what can I do for? Uh, let, what do you think of our current situation? Well, I'm judging by the smoke and the panic state of the people that you were successful in your mission. Uh, yeah. I've made some repairs to the marvelous dragonfly. It's ready to go as soon as you are. The trip to the palace will be very quick. Good. Quick is good. Let's go back to my other question. If you like, but not. Um. Let's talk about Lord Lau's furnace. Yes, yes, I am eager to return there. It is a masterful array of artful mechanics. Have you identified any more configurations for this machine? No, I have not had any new insights. The best option I can suggest is just to keep your eyes open. There has to be reference to them somewhere. I think I'm out of scraps and notes. Still, something about the movement of the furnace prompted me to scratch this down. I hope it helps. Oh, really? Um, take me back to the furnace. Certainly. It's just a flick of a switch. And I'm reasonably sure the trip isn't even doing any irreparable harm. <laughs> Interpreted furnace movement. Alright, we'll take a look at that. Um, a note scribbled by Kang after he noticed an odd pattern in the movements of Lord Lao's furnace suggests that one of the machine's configuration is in a fortress of the dark-handed ones within the city. Yeah, I hope I got that. Did I get that? Is that one of these? I, I hope I didn't miss that. And if I did, well, it's a blind... It's a blind LP, so I guess it's okay if I m missed something. Anyway, I need to put some iron into this machine. Because I don't think I've done the rabbit configuration yet. Um, cinnabar ore. 
Load a new fuel. Uh, nickel iron. Okay, I put in the bar of nickel iron, and according to this, configuration of the rabbit, or tiger rather, iron is made through the alloy, and nickel binds well to, to make a sharp blade. It can also be a reactive fuel, but certain configures for it. The dragon watches over the controlled lightning, while the cogs spin dutifully on their own. So, the cogs? Whirling cogs? And I'm thinking the conductor. Yes. And it says the dragon, I believe. The dragon, even though this is the configuration of the tiger. The dragon watches over the controlled lightning while the cogs been dutifully on their own. Let's see what we got. Alright, are you done? Can we can we keep can we move on now? Okay. Button, please? Really? No button? Dragon button, thank you. Ooh, the quieted mine. Configuration of the tiger. Very nice. Um... The quieted... Wait, quieted mine. Oh no, Zoo's gone. Sad face. Focus plus 30. A successful configuration of Lord Lao's furnace has taught you to enter a state of legend called the Quieted Mind. This meditative combat technique provides incredible focus. Um, so... So yeah. Uh, the only thing left is... Because this is a re repeat, the configuration of the horse is a repeat. Um, so I need a small stone with medical runes. Um, the rest of the diagram shows the connection between some sort of lightning and tried globe held by a mechanical arm, which seems linked to a pagoda or pyramid top machine, belching smoke, which in turn seems connected by a series of large gears. The diagram has a series of dragon etchings. Whether or not they're related is hard to say. Do I not have anything else besides besides the cow bazaar? I guess not. Do you have anything else to say, Kang the Mad? A most intriguing place. I decided I think I'm going to start calling Kang the Mad La Cucaracha because of his awesome sombrero. Uh, where can I find configurations for this device? Well, given the rather fantastic nature of the furnace, I would bet that whoever has them doesn't really know what they are for. You found one previously in an un... Yeah, okay. I'm ready to leave this place. Very well. In the meantime, I will try to see if I can learn anything more about this interesting machine. I can always bring us back here later. Good. Alright. That was... That was... You know, constructive. That was... We, we, we were able to accomplish a few things. Alright guys, I think I'm going to end it now before we actually make our way to the palace. So yeah, thank you guys again for joining me on this episode of Gay Let's Play Jade Empire. Hope everybody's doing well, and until next time, love yourselves, and love each other.